Hello, this is Mrs. DB, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to do some of the problems from the Chapter 2, Section 2 assignment. So this is from Chapter 2, Section 2. And the ones that I'm going to look at, especially, are these ones with fractions, 13 through 18 on the section. So number 1 says 1 half times d equals 7. So you, all you need to do is figure out how to get rid of the denominator there. 1 half d equals 7. And the way that we, we get rid of multiplying by a fraction is to multiply by its reciprocal. So instead of dividing by 1 half, which you could do, instead we will multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 1 half, which is the same as 2 over 1. And 2 over 1 is the same as 2. And then you'll see that on the left side, the 2 over the 2 would cancel, and I'd be left with my answer of d equals 7 times 2 is 14. Now on number 14, we have 15 equals 5 6 times f. And we're really going to do the same thing that we just did. This time f is on the right side, but that doesn't mean that we aren't going to do the same thing. Let me get a different color here. We're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the fraction being multiplied to f. So what's the reciprocal of 5 6? It's 6 fifths. So let me sneak that in on this side. And remember, I also have to multiply it then on the other side, 6 fifths. So now I have, on the, on the right side, I have 6 fifths times 5 sixths. The 6's six cancel, the 5's cancel, and I'm just left with f which is great because that's what I wanted. Now on the left side, we have 6 fifths times 15. I'm going to put a 1 under that 15. So 6 fifths times 15 over 1. You could multiply that the way it is. The, the way you multiply fractions is you multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. Or you could see if anything would cancel. If you're not used to um, canceling, then just go ahead and get your calculator. And my calculator might be a little bit big to fit in my little tiny window here. Let me see if I can make it smaller. So I'm going to go 6 times 15 equals 90. 6 times 15 equals 90. And then of course 5 times 1 is 5. So I have 90 divided by 5. And then if you need to use your calculator again, oops, sorry, calculator. Calculator went where? There it is. And 90 divided by 5 is 18. So that means that 18 equals f. Now some of you may have said, well wait, I remember canceling. Couldn't I have canceled instead of multiplying the 6 times 15? And the way that you would cancel is you would say, okay, I've got, use green here, I've got 5 on the bottom and 15 on the top. I know that 5 goes into 15 three times, and 5 goes into 5 one time. So now on the top, I'd have 6 times 3, which is 18, and then 1 times 1 on the bottom, which is just 1. So you still get 18 over f, or I mean 18 equals f, sorry. Okay, so that's number 14. Let's look at number 15. Number 15 is... Let me see there. 2 thirds times s equals negative 6. 2 thirds times s equals negative 6. So I'm not going to finish this one, but let's just start it and see what would we multiply both sides by to get rid of that 2 thirds. We want to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 over 2. And remember that you have to multiply both sides by that. And I'm going to put a 1 there. Now you will do the same thing we just did in 13 and 14. On, on one side, everything will cancel, and you'll just get the variable. On the other side, when you multiply fractions, you can go straight across the top, negative 6 times 3, and then the bottom would be 1 times 2, and then simplify, or you can try to cancel. So you finish 15 and see what you get. Now the next ones, number 16, 17, and 18, um, 19, Actually, number 16 is the same thing. You're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. Um, all of them, you're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. Number 17 might look a little different because we have fractions on both sides. So let's look at number 17 right here. Number 17 is 1 tenth 
equals 4 fifths times y. And that means that we need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the fraction that is next to the variable. So make sure you know which one you're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So we need to take the reciprocal of 4 fifths. And that is 5 fourths. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 5 fourths. 5 fourths. Kind of squeeze it in there. Remember, this is number 17 right here. So on the, on the right side, I have 5 fourths times 4 fifths. The 4s cancel. The 5s cancel. Or you could go 5 times 4 is 20. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 over 20 is 1. So in either case, we get y left over on the right side. Now let's see what we have on the left side. On the top, we'd have 5 times 1. We're going to multiply it straight across. On the bottom, I'd have 4 times 10. That's 5 over 40. Now you can change that to a decimal by taking 5 divided by 40, or you can reduce this fraction. So I could say, OK, what could both of these numbers be divided by? What is 5 and, and 40 both divisible by? And I would say, hmm, 5 will go into both of them. So I'm going to divide top and bottom by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So the answer for number 17 would be 1 8th, because 5 40th simplifies to 1 8th. However, if you had changed that to a decimal, or if you had used a decimal, a calculator, you would have 5 divided by 40, there's my 0, equals 0.125. And that would be a correct answer as well if you had changed it to, if you had used the calculator to do 5 divided by 40. Okay, so I hope that helped. Try to finish number the ones that we didn't finish, number 15. Um, we didn't do number 16 and number 18. Try those and see which, how you do. Thank you very much and have a great day.